Hey, my love. So I am so excited. And the irony of this topic, it would be me the one to talk about it. So this, the title of this video is Why I Stopped Tricking. So first, I'm just going to start off with a couple verses. Because, you know, where I get this from is in the Bible always. So first verse is Exodus 23, verse 8. You shall not take a bribe, for a bribe blinds the clear-sighted and subverts the cause of just. So what this means is that based on whatever someone's trying to give you something, you're going to be blinded by their true intentions or motives behind giving you that item. And so Proverbs chapter 17 verse 8 says, the bribe, A bribe is a charm in the sight of its owner. Wherever he turns, he prospers. So this verse is basically saying that the person that's trying to bribe you or give you a gift or buy your love or do whatever, try to buy you, um, buy their way into your life, they're essentially trying to charm you with their money. And so he thinks like, oh, all I know, all I got to do is take her out to eat or give her a thousand dollars and she'll be right back or she'll talk to me. He prospers. That's like in his mind. And so the last, there's multiple verses, but the last verse I'm going to share is Psalm chapter 26, verse 10. In whose hands is a wicked scheme, in whose right hand is full of bribes. So, you know, what that's basically saying, like, whoever has, they got something up their sleeve. If they come to you trying to buy you shoes, purses, watches, anything, they got a scheme up their hand. So... And the crazy part is I was not going to speak on this today. I was going to speak on something completely different, just about confidence. Um, but the city girls is going to be mad at me today about this one because um, literally a video popped up on my YouTube video saying some gifts are curses. And the crazy part today, someone was trying to, um, well... People have been trying to offer me little gifts and stuff or even all around my birthday and I would be like, no, no thank you. Cause I'm just like, I don't even know you like that. Like, why would I accept this from you? Like, no, but you know, mind you, the old me, now we're just gonna go into story time because I'm gonna talk about my, how I didn't know that tricking or bribes or anything like that was wrong. Like I thought that was just the most harmless thing you could do as a female. Cause it's like, if someone's offering you something, why wouldn't I accept it? Like that's benefiting me. Like they keep offering, keep pressing me and they want to do it for me. Who am I to be like, no, not happening. But boy, you learn your lesson. And so I remember um, probably when I was 15 with my first boyfriend. I will never forget this because I was so angry. He was trying to buy me my first pair of Uggs. And I guess his mom probably went to my mom and was trying to ask for my shoe size. I don't know how my mom found out. I can't really remember that well. But I think that's what happened. And so my mom was like, no, he's not buying her that. And I was like, what? Like, what kind of kind of mess is this if he wants to buy me a gift who are you who are we to decline long story short i didn't get the mugs and i was just i think that probably was sparked me into accepting it because i'm like why wouldn't i get what i want like that doesn't make sense so then i just know at 16 i think that's when it started for me because there was someone that would just, they start off just offering to buy me little things. And I'm like, okay, thank you. La, la, la. But then around Christmas time, I started getting more things. And I got them Uggs. And then, you know, just acquiring things without, you know, having to do anything. So mind you, for me, it was all about, oh, all I have to do is what, have a conversation with someone and they'll just buy me what I want. So that's why I seen mine as harmless. I'm not finna go, I'll do the extra, you ain't getting this body. None of that. It was none of that with my, um. when I say tricking, it, it didn't get that far, it didn't get that good. The most was just like um, hanging out to get some free weed or to smoke, literally like, Everything is um, was transactional. So what 
I have to say about this is that, um, back to what I was saying, with some gifts are curses. So just as you close and lock the doors in your home, you need to do the same spiritually. Like with people, you can't accept every offer that comes your way. Um, personally, you got to become self-aware to see anything even wrong with tricking or accepting bribes or whatever, because that's something I feel like I didn't have a conscience about for years. Like I did not see anything wrong with it. And you know, to each its own at the end of the day, but I'm gonna follow what I learned about it as to why it's not gonna be good for my spiritual, you know, health or walk. And so for me, number one reasons why I stopped is that you read what you sow. I believe that um, just because someone keeps offering me money, shoes, or takes me shopping or anything like that, it they still want some type of something in return, even if they are just a sugar boy. Like, they still want your time or conversation. So that's still a transaction. So you know that your intentions are good with this person and their intentions, they probably really want you or would really like to be with you. But you know your intentions are like, I'm just using this person. So for me, that's number one, you reaping what you sow. And I didn't realize that. So... I feel like if you're reaping, using someone, taking advantage of someone, you're going to get that back into your life in different areas. You don't know where it's going to pop up. It's called um, karma, but it's also called reaping what you sow. So that's one reason I stopped because I'm like, oh, if I keep if I keep using someone, take advantage of someone, that's going to come back on me. I don't need that kind of energy in my life. And so... This is a hard one probably for everybody. Even with exes, you cannot keep the stuff they bought you. Or even people you just, um, situationships, someone you were trying to talk to. So, for example, my last birthday, um, this dude I was talking to had bought me, you know, a teddy bear and some flowers and a vase and all this extra. So, but we didn't work out because of, we didn't work out. So that's, um, I was mad because I'm like, bro, I was, I was trying to warn him like, hey, like, I don't think you're ready to talk to someone new. You know how people just be fresh out of a relationship and it's just a mess. And so I'm just like, I kept trying to warn him. And so then on my birthday, literally was in their feelings about their ex. And I'm like, okay, this, this is just not going to work. You done lost your mind. Like I'm on vacation and you and your feelings <laughs> the disrespect you know I, you worried about someone else i'm worried about celebrating me who does that so girl i got home i must have threw away everything in the trash and so i seen something online where it's like you can even burn it and i'm like luckily my anger for anyone hasn't been that deep but i do throw away oh i ain't keeping it you buy me a weird gift too like some shorts or anything that just like why are you buying me that so you gotta throw people's stuff away man because some of these gifts are cursed they're trying to they're trying to keep and linger they um i wouldn't even say always spirit but just keep you tied to like think of them with that object so you gotta get rid of that stuff i don't keep nothing nothing i used to too i would keep all my the crazy part with this year with spiritual all my rings kept getting lost. My charm bracelets, people bought me everything. This is why I'm naked because everything, all my jewelry was bought from past relationships and stuff. And notice it's all gone. Like, I don't know if God was yanking stuff off or what, but it, he was like, no, you got to get rid of that stuff. And so it's, as you can see, I ain't got none of my James Avery rings, but it's okay. And so, um, also, it kind of promotes that you can be bought, like, for a value, like, hey, I know if I, all I gotta do, like I said before, if I buy her this or that, she'll be right back in my arms. And it's like, if you truly value yourself, you wouldn't go, you ain't going for that. But if you, and you're not in your right, um, state of mind to think like well I want what I want so if he's offering to pay for my nails I'm gonna do it not knowing when you accept that 
you kind of allow someone back into your life in some form of way. And sometimes you're just greedy. Like, I think for my reason for tricking was more so like, I don't want to spend my own money for some shoes I want. I don't want to spend my own money for my nails. I don't want to spend my own money to get my hair done. Like, why would I do that if I have someone else who's willing to pay for it? But, you know, it's stuff that comes. It's always going to be a price to pay in the end when you just being greedy when you got the money you and you still just like no i'm gonna use them and so sometimes um you're just using people to buy the stuff you want because um just to feel a deep emptiness because you're like well i know if so and so gets me this that'll make me feel better yeah for about a day and then you're back feeling the same way um a couple days later and so yeah, you're gonna attract that kind of stuff when you don't see anything wrong with it. I know I did. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. But these um, scriptures help me to see that um, they do. People do try to charm their way back into your life by offering you a bribe, like, and you gotta be willing to be like, Nah, I'm not worth the. I ain't worth the bag. I'm worth more than that. Mo something money can't buy. And so if you don't really see yourself like that, then this um, this topic is not for you until you're ready to notice that you are using people essentially, whether you wanna admit that or not. So it's just all about becoming self-aware and um, having a conscience because I know I did not feel bad about it even today i don't know if i necessarily feel bad about it i just now am aware that it's wrong like i don't think i feel bad that i was doing it and that's not good at all so it's just about learning what's right from wrong regardless if you feel bad for it or not so and just trying to do better because once you like even um this past year i've been offered i've been declined everybody trying to buy me stuff do whatever and this is not bragging at all i'm just saying what you should do when someone comes your way trying to buy you stuff and you don't even know the man or you don't know this person I mean, I have one story, but now here's the situation too. Like, even at hair school, this dude, he already bought the stuff. Not asking me, like, just went out and bought me combs and stuff and food. Like, what happens when they do that? I mean, you now today and age, I probably would decline it because I'm like, hey, I didn't ask you to do that. Like, what is all this? But back then, I accepted it because I'm, I'm thinking it's harmless, not knowing that. Oh, he wants me. And I'm like, dude. I'm thinking you're just buying me food and getting me some hair supplies out the kindness of your heart. And so that's why scripture says a bribe is a charm in the size of um, its owner. You think he thought he was going to prosper. He thought he was going to get me. He wasn't getting me because you bought me something. So that's why you got to be careful about allowing people to buy you gifts because it's a curse. And you will have to get rid of every gift when you are done with that person.